What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Lendares, from... You don't know yet. You see it. You see it. l and Line Service, baby. Blue Springs, Missouri. Back at you. Yeah, I know. It's been a while. It's been a while, man. Videos, I haven't been doing any. Ah, sit down with you guys. Try to get you up to speed with me. Uh, sorry, I haven't been putting out any videos lately. You know, my bad. But uh, I've been kind of busy. Uh, I know everybody's been kind of busy. Uh, but man, it, putting out videos is hard. It's hard work. I said that before in another video to try to keep up with videos and post what you're doing and try to get on some of these uh, properties and you don't know if the customer's going to kind of you know, look at you funny or they tell you you can't film and all that stuff. So uh, it's been kind of busy for me. Don't think I've just been sitting around chilling. I've been busy. Uh, getting everything together. You can see the skag is out, 36. I've been like sharpening blades, get, just getting stuff together, you know, the preparation. Uh, it's been a long winter, and it carried over into March, mid-March, winter did, so it didn't take off like it did last year as far as getting out there. Uh, it was kind of late, but I've been staying busy. I've been having uh, leaf cleanups. Matter of fact, Monday, today's what, the 5th, Saturday the 5th? Of April, the 5th of April, and Monday I got uh, a yard cleanup, leaf job, I got cut some grass, some customers, and I also have um, uh, aerating and overseeding, and I'm still trying to get used to my, you see it, you see it, Toro aerator, 30 inch. Now, what's funny about this is, I want to do my back. Y'all can see I aerated. Y'all can see that I aerated right here. These are the plugs. Plugs that come out. That's the aerating job. So, I'm doing a little practicing on my yard. Just to get used to it. Uh, you got to kind of let off the times. Times are the things that put the hole, plug the holes. Nobody knows. But I'm sure people know that. But you can't you can't actually turn sometimes. See, I kind of turned right here, turned right there. You kind of rip the grass up. Now, granted, I don't have the best grass, but at the same time, you can't really turn with this aerator. You got to kind of let off the times and then go back. Like right here, I had a mole. I had a mole right here digging and the mole was digging this way that's why this one got so beat up because that grass is so loose due to that mole but all in all you know is doing what it's supposed to do plug them holes in there okay. now this is a 30 inch and I don't know how this got to be a 30 inch gate 32 but with this gate right here comes out a little bit I can't get this back here maybe if I I know what I probably got to do I probably got to close this gate all the way and bend it all the way back in order to clear this right here maybe but my aerator won't get through there I don't know the measurements of that. I got I know that's that has to be 32 to 34. But with this gate sticking out here, it kind of prohibits me to get my aerator back there. So I gotta be aware of that. It's, that's why I'm trying to figure things out with this aerator, backyards and things like that. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna measure that, and then I'm gonna measure this again and 
so that I know when I go to customers' yards, uh, I know the measurements that I need to get that in the back. Because that's a little bit, the width of your aeration is 30. And uh, the width of the aeration is 30. So, but the wheels and the tires are a little bit different, a little bit wider. So this looks like it's a 34. See the width from here to there is about 30. But you got these tires that stick out kind of, I believe. I got to I gotta just do some measurements on that. That's all. So I'm going to get some measurements down. Try to figure out what it is and go from there. Uh, what else I want to talk to you guys about since I haven't been talking to you guys in a while? I'm going to put out a video about how my 2018 went, the ups and the downs. Uh, customers, a couple of customers not paying me, a couple of customers leaving messages saying, you know, they can't pay me and things like that. You know, just excuses. But it's it's all good. It wasn't that many. I think I had probably, and all in all, it was one. So that's not too bad. But towards that end, it was a couple, you know, and then they ended up paying except one. But that's another, that's another video. Uh, I haven't given you guys a 2018 in my setup. I got to get that done. And uh, and go from there. Right now, what I'm going to do is I am going to put some fertilizer down. Fertilizer down. And I want and I want to see what I'm doing is I'm doing test runs on my own yard with, with this equipment. So when I get to my properties, I won't screw that stuff up, and I know what uh how this spreader works how much it spreads out see i got the spreader and it has a dial on here and uh let me see so it's on zero right now but you can bump this thing up to two three i think i'm supposed to put it on three for what i'm using now and see that mo see it moving that's it right there I mean, it goes faster than that, too. So three, four is going faster. Y'all see it right down in there? Five, six. I mean, the higher you go, the, the, the faster it's going to whip that out, and the further it's going to whip it out. So I got to make sure I'm setting it right. But it says to set it on three. I'm going to put it back down. And when you start this back up, it'll stay on three, which is a good thing. It'll stay on three. So I'm going to go back down to zero. Like I say, this baby's brand new, man. It's 1.6 on there. So I just got some crab grass that I'm going to put down. I was going to forget about the crabgrass and just reseed it and put some starter fertilizer on it but as you know usually your grass is the last grass that you take care of when you in this lawn care business and my grass is usually the last to get cut the last to get things done so I'm trying to get a little bit done because once I start going I'm going I've been doing bush jobs leaf cleanups, spring cleanups. So I know that I didn't have more this year than I did last year. And the calls are still coming in. I mean, once May hit, you off and running. And I'm hoping this be a good year for me. Uh, I got all the equipment that I need. 
Now, leaf jobs. I've been doing good with the leaf jobs, but leaf jobs are back breaking, time consuming. And since I got that, I am going to try to think about later. Um, I am going to think about investing. Not right now, but a little bit later. I'm going to think about investing in uh, maybe some type of dump. A dump. That's what I'm. That's what I think I need because it's easier just to take the leaves, push them to the front, from the back to the front, and everything, and then. I uh, use one of those leaf vacs to pick it up. That will save so much time and save me so much money as far as, you know, if I got helpers or something with me. So, once you start doing these leaf jobs and then you start, man, going through it, you out there for two or three hours on a job and you see a truck come by and they got their two guys they just blow all the leaves to the front and you just uh, just like still there and they done spent 45 minutes to do their job and they out of there and you know they getting paid about mm, man them guys are getting paid between 350 400 dollars 450 depending on the size of the yard so if it's taking me 3 hours with 3 people four hours by myself, things like that, man, it'll be a, a, a big help, you know, for me to try to strategize something where next year or the year after, because more leaf jobs are going to come in, the more I get known, more leaf jobs are going to come in, more spring cleanups are going to come in, and I want to be efficient with it. I mean, you know, I'm trying to get efficient equipment that's going to help me get the job done quicker and less stress on me and my body. So I'm not getting younger. I'm getting older. So that being said, all right, guys, I'm out. I'm back. And uh, like I said, I'm going I'm to I'm drop a couple of more videos. Uh, like I said, I'm going to drop a couple more videos letting you guys know how my 2018 went. Uh, some of the ups and downs, um, how the beginning of my 2019 went, um, what else I got to talk to you guys about, the pricing process and, and customer base and, and dealing with customers, just all that stuff that you kind of want to know that, that you're going to go through if you're just not starting out, this, this is going to be my third year into this. This is going to be my third year into this. And uh, man, I've, I've been missing it this summer. I mean, this, this winter, I was going crazy. You know, once you get started with this business and you, you ready to rock and roll, you, you, you bored during the winter time, you don't know what to do, you just can't wait till it just go. And then when the summer hit and it's hot as hell out there, you be waiting for it to end. You know what I mean? But all in all, you're making money. You're making money. That's that's part of the part of the process. So you ready to start when that heat start coming? You ready for it to slow down and uh and and, 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 and you wait for that October and November to hit so everything starts slowing down. But man, got more leads. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna stop talking. I got plenty of time to hit y'all up with another video. Alright guys, like, subscribe, leave a comment, hit that bell button, do whatever you gotta do, but you better do it. Alright guys, peace out.